What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make pickle rigs that are super strong and won't break. They'll also catch you big fish. Okay, so the things you'll need for this rig will be swivels, snap swivels, and some sort of bead. You'll also need mono or braid cutters, and then some mono. I use 40 pound, but anywhere from 30 to 50 will work for this rig. You'll also need tape or thumbtacks. You'll also need a tape measure, and then your hook of choice, and then also a cheap pickle rig just to use the brackets from it right there okay so the first thing you need to do for the pickle rig will be um taking out about four feet of mono like that and then um you'll have to tie on a uni knot on your line but i'll show that after this clip so you're gonna want to take your line like a loop like this go in like this four times so it should look like that you're just gonna do a four overhand knots over your line and then you want to pull it up so once you've tied that knot this is probably it's gonna look like this so simply pull it down you want it about um you want to leave at least 18 inches of leader line behind this knot so cinch it down then obviously lubricate the knot I'll do that right now okay so now that you cinch that down it should look like this it should look like that take your bead right here and then you're gonna want to put it down the line like this and then you're gonna want to let me just move some of this stuff you're gonna want to go back through the bead like this so it creates like a loop on top of it how a pickle rig should be like. Then you're gonna wanna go pull it all the way down to the knot. And then this is the part I'll show you. So obviously you can see the knot there. You're gonna wanna have the bead in the knot like that and pull this tight or you wanna have the bead just above the knot. Well, it should look like this. And just pull it tight like that there so one thing that i didn't mention is you'll need another pickle rig to go off of for the custom pickle rig you'll either need thumbtacks or tape to keep the other pickle rig down to the table and then you're basically going to go off of this pickle rig with the custom ones okay so you may be wondering why i have measurements down here for the pickle rig so this is because if i want to do one inch i can make the pickle rig one inch lower so the hook's sitting one inch lower or two inch or three inch so basically what i'll do is um see the measurements here one inch to two inch you're gonna want to measure it cut the line from one inch and then tie the snap swivel onto the end of the line and then the this bracket will be um one inch lower than than this the standard pickle rig so and then if i want to do two inches i'll do the same thing cut it there and then the bracket will be two inches lower this time. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so if you wanna do the measurements yourself, um, measure from the end of the snap swivel, one inch, and then two inch, three inch, four inch. And then um, measure from the bead here, one inch, two inch, three inch, or whatever you wanna set it to. So I'm gonna cut my access line at three inches because I want my um, wire leader three inches below where a standard pickle rig would sit. So I'll show you how to do that right now So basically you're gonna take the bead and measure it from the other pickle rig bead and then you're gonna want to Cut it to your preferred length and I'm gonna do three inches. So the um, The bracket will hang three inches lower then so let me just cut it down to three inches About a three-quarters of an inch to cut now Almost there. Okay, so now I got it measured up to three inches. Now I'll show you how to tie the snap swivel onto the end. Okay, so grab your snap swivel and go through the loop here. 
with the mono. These are also for 45 pound test um, snap swivels, but I'll put a link to where you can buy them. So you're, so you're gonna wanna tie a basic um, fisherman's knot. So one wrap, two wrap, three wrap, and then four. You're gonna wanna do four because um, it's thicker material and it won't cinch up good. And then go back through the eyelid, or the loop I mean. Tie it like that, start cinching it down and you're gonna wanna lubricate this up. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so once you've done that, it should look like this. All cinched up nicely. Okay, so take your cheap pickle rig and take the brackets out from it. So they should look like this from the pickle rig thing. And then you're gonna wanna obviously take the bracket or wire hand and then slide it down like this, down to the line. And then this is gonna meet the other knot that you tied like that or the bead i mean and then you got the snap swivel where you attach your weight and then you're gonna want to grab another bead obviously for the pick rig let me just grab one quick like this and then put it on the line again loop it through again like this like that there and then I'll show you how to do the other knot okay so the next step is to tie the other knot And then this is the hard part. You're gonna wanna bring the knot down to three inches, which is right here, if you can see that. And then you're gonna wanna estimate where the knot's gonna be. So you want it close to three inches. So make it right here, right there. Right there should be good. So now I'll cinch it down now. Okay, so as you can see, I cinched down the knot right there and I got it pretty close to three inches. It's a bit off, but it doesn't really matter. So grab your bead now. And then put it through the line. And go back out it. Back through it again. Like that. Like that there. And then you're going to want to pull it down to the knot again like so and put the knot there too there it's right there that's how it looks and then you're gonna want to grab the other bracket from the pick rig and put it on like there so I'll cut it off there you go And then to finish it off, you'll need another another bead. Put it on the line. And then go back through it again. Like so. So one, two, three, four. Go back through the loop. Like that. Like that. Okay, so you need to um, 
grab um, your 40 pound mono or whatever you have again for the hooks and cut about about 16 to 18 inches of line and now you're gonna want to tie um, a knotless knot or a snell knot so go through the line like that and then you're gonna want to wrap it around the shank if it can focus wrap it around the shank 10 times so it doesn't come undone let me see if it'll focus and then back through the eyelid like that then pull it tight Okay, so I'll show you how to do the hook now. So you're going to measure the hook from here to 14 and a quarter, which I already have my pre-cut already. So the next step is to um, fold your line over like this. Make a loop like that, and then take this loop here, and then go through it twice. Like that should look like a like a figure eight i'll put a picture up here to show you what it looks like all cinched up so you're gonna grab everything together and then pull it tight and then cut your tag end And then it should look like that. Okay, so now that you've tied your hooks, um, grab your hook and put it through the hand here, the metal wire. Put it through like that, like a pickle rig. And then um, grab this tag in or the loop and then pull it through like this. Make sure the knot goes through there. Then push the loop over. And it should look like that. Pull it tight. And that's how you hook up the hooks to it. And then it won't come undone. And then do the same thing for the other hook. Just like that. And that's it for the pickle rig. Okay, so that's it for the pickle rig. You got your snap swivel there. You got your uni knot on the line. And then a bead and then the wire bracket. And then you got your snelled hook on the other end. And then the bead again. And then you got the uni knot again with the wire bracket and a snelled hook and then another another bead and then you got um snap swivel okay so that's it for the pickle rig um i'll be posting more in the summer about fishing and making fishing hooks and stuff like that and if you have any um questions leave them down below and that's it for the video and i'll see you in the next one